Hey everybody, Carl Besky from Rush Outdoors. Welcome to our new web show, The Obsession. Um, we're going to be showing a hunt a week coming up here for the next year for sure. Uh, all of our whitetail hunts, our turkey hunts, our mule deer hunts, bow, gun. We're also going to be doing some reviews on some of the products we use here at Rush Outdoors. Um, from arrows to bows to broadheads, stabilizers, any of the new equipment that's coming out, some of our scent techniques that we use, some of our calling techniques, you'll see um, just stuff that might help you guys take your best deer of your life. So for the next year, we're going to be doing a weekly show, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we appreciate any input that you guys are going to give us. Um, feel free to put comments below or you can check us out on Facebook. We appreciate all the likes. So we're going to get the show started. Our first hunt's actually going to be with my nephew and uh, fellow Rush Outdoor Pro staffer Cody Van Heron. Uh, he takes a doe real early in this season. He uh, gets the opportunity hunting over water on a real warm day. I think it was like 80 degrees out. Uh, hunting southwestern Wisconsin, so check this hunt out.
Check our air out here. Not too far away. Should be about 20 yards. We got blood dripping out here. Take a look at our arrow. Got our vein tech veins. These are actually the uh, Black Eagle Renegades. Nice. A lot of blood on there. Those Exodus broadheads. Uh, they fly like field points and they just do a number on them. Super awesome broadhead. Well, we'll pick up the blood trail and we'll see if we can't go find her. Got good blood. Down here, I'm pretty sure she's down the woods. Yeah, there's good blood everywhere. Oh, there she is. <laughs> what is that 15 yards off the tram? Flies oh. right already. Real nice pig, though. Good nose on her, nice mature. All right guys, uh, here she is. She probably went, I don't know, 70 yards downhill. She's only probably 15 yards in the woods here, so put a really good shot on her actually. Um, due to the angle, it's probably a hard shot. Came out the bottom side of her front shoulder, so she kicked really hard. Um, the Obsession Bows, I got the Phoenix still, 2014, doing its job as always, along with the Renegade Black Eagle Arrows, Vein Tech Veins, and the Excess Broadheads. Um, I think the reason this hunt works so well is because I've been hunting this place for quite a while. My uncles have taught me a lot about hunting and how to do it around here, and just how to do it in general. And we set the stand, like I said, probably two years ago, I think my uncle did. And I don't know if this is the second deer shot out of it, but, or the first one, but there's always deer coming through here, so it's a little toasty, so we're gonna finish getting her tagged up and start getting her gutted out, so we can hang her and get her cut up tonight still, so thanks for watching. I'm Cody Van Heron with Team Rush Outdoors. Quick shout out to Tessa. <laughs> Just supposed to say it, <laughs> so there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Whitetail Obsession. So you guys just seen that hunt with Cody. Uh, he did a great job. Obviously early season hunt, uh, really warm. He said it was about 80 degrees out. Um, you want to get on your water sources if possible. If you guys have a secluded water source, we actually had a camera on that water source. So we knew there was deer coming to it. Um, watch your wind direction going in and get on top of that water. They're going to hit it early and then feed. You can see that water source is actually right next to one of our clover fields. Uh, it's a real productive spot early season, especially if you plan on filling your freezer. But next week, we're going to actually go 
a couple days after this particular hunt, and we're going to actually go with Eunice Zimbeck. Uh, she gets her first opportunity at a, at a great buck, so you guys be sure to tune in, see what happens next week. Thanks for watching The Obsession.